London. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to be demonstrating a self myofascial release technique to help alleviate knee pain. This particular technique is going to be focusing on the iliotibial band, or the IT band as it's commonly known, uh, and the vastus lateralis. The iliotibial band itself is a tendon that runs from our hip down the, the length of our thigh and to the underside of our kneecap. Attached to the tendon further up our, our hips is the gluteus maximus, uh, medius, and also the tensor fascia lata. So a, a lot of these muscles that I'm mentioning um, are, in most people, due to the dysfunctions that they have, quite tight. So because of that, they actually pull onto the iliotibial band, which can then pull at the underside and medial portion, so the outer portion of our kneecap. So a lot of people that I, that I speak to, my clients and other members of the gym will mention that they have knee pain when they're running or walking up and down stairs. And the, the knee pain that they're experiencing more often than not is um, being caused by the tightness within the iliotibial band. So I don't know whether you could strictly say that the iliotibial band itself is tight because it always needs to be have, it always needs to have tension in it because it's a supporting um, structure, I suppose. It, it's what helps uh, stabilize our knee. So it does, it does need to have um, tension in it. But if the muscles that are attaching to it and the muscle underneath it, the vastus lateralis, if those muscles become tight and um, pull on the iliotibial band, then it can then in turn become tighter, which is what can cause the pain within that knee region when we're going through our gait cycle. The vastus lateralis is one of the quadricep muscles. It's on the outer portion of our thigh, so it runs sort of down this region. The main function of the quadriceps is to extend the knee. So when the knee is um, bent behind us and then comes down to a straight position, that is extension and the um, muscles that are doing that are the quadriceps. When we're going through our gait cycle, whether we're walking, running, it's really um, it's used all the time. And because of that, it can become, um, or the, the fascia surrounding it can become quite restricted and become restricted and attached to the iliotibial band. So for this particular technique, we're gonna use a lacrosse ball. Um, if you've never done anything like this before, I would highly recommend using a tennis ball to start with because it's a lot less dense and um, this particular region can be really, really sensitive in most people. The technique that I'm going to show you is probably, I wouldn't say like a beginner technique or, or uh, uh, an intermediate technique, but it's a technique that you allows the person doing it to put as much or as little pressure as they like on it. It's not quite so invasive, so uh, from a beginner's perspective, it's quite a good one to do. So I'm going to position myself on the floor and I'm going to put my legs down so they're sort of like uh, one's flex in front of me and the other one's flex behind. The ball um, I'm placing underneath my, um, the outer portion of my thigh and we're going to go, we're going to start sort of at the, this is probably the top third of the thigh and I'm just going to put the ball down there. And I'm going to very gently support myself with my left hand. And as I stay here, I'm going to extend my knee. So I'm going to bring the, the foot straight. And just get a bit of cross friction there as well. And at the same time, I'm going to apply pressure to my knee, which is going to act as a, a lever and apply more pressure to where the ball is. And this is what I was saying about it being quite a good technique for people that haven't uh, done anything on the... Um, or around that iliotibial band because, you know, as it, is, as it is very sensitive or can be very sensitive, it, this allows you the freedom to be able to take a bit of pressure off if you need to or apply a bit more pressure if, um, if you're finding it quite comfortable. So we want to just move around that region and find some tender points and we want to just sit just off them. We don't want to be too brutal to ourselves and then apply a little bit of gentle pressure and as we do, we can extend this leg out and then slowly back and apply some more pressure there and just move ourselves around. One thing to look out for when you're performing this technique is that you're not 
creating too much tension within the upper trap region up here. It can be quite easy to, as we're going through it and we're creating um, a release down here, we can sometimes get a bit of tension up here. So just be conscious of what's going on up here and try and be a little bit relaxed. Make sure you do both sides. I recommend doing maybe two, three minutes each side, seeing how that goes. I'd also um, strongly suggest that you release your uh, tensor fascia lata, TFL hip flexor, also gluteus medius. Um, there are other videos for those releases online. Check them out, give them a go. Um, feel free to put a comment up, click like if you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys soon. Take care.